Before the gold rush of 1848, there were about only 50 Chinese immigrants in the United States. Yet by 1900, that number escalated to 300,000 Chinese. What factors might have caused this change? One major reason for Chinese coming to America was a dramatic increase in the population of China during the breakup of its empire in the late 19th century. More people there also meant a lack of available arable land. The rumors of a steady stream of employment were a major pull factor to come to the Americas. Most Chinese immigrants were employed in railroad work in the United States, but many others were employed as both miners on the West Coast and strike breakers on the East Coast. Chinese immigrants were young, unskilled laborers. They often came to the United States with the help of their families' savings or through a Chinese middleman who fronted them the cash for transport in exchange for a labor contract to pay off their debt once they landed. More Chinese people in America contributed to a friendlier diplomacy between the United States and China. By 1868, Anson Burlingame, an American diplomat, secured a gentleman's agreement between the two nations that allowed for the protection of Chinese migrants' civil rights in America. Once in America, the Chinese established themselves as a mostly male bachelor group of migrants. Few women of good reputations came to the United States, and those that did were often lured by promises of work that never became a reality. Most Chinese women in the United States at the time end up in prostitution. Chinatowns, or permanent Chinese settlements, began to spring up around the country. Most of these settlements were cultural havens where Chinese immigrants spent time together with their compatriots in an effort to avoid the blatant racism of the time. By the 1880s, anti-Chinese sentiments escalated to an all-time high and Burlingame's treaty gave way to the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, which barred most Asians from entering the United States for over 60 years. Slowly, the Chinese population in America grew naturally from families that remained in the country and from those who chose to enter illegally by exploiting some of the more obscure exceptions in the act. This second generation of Chinese Americans confronted the racism of the time and managed to create businesses and find employment in a few areas. Small businesses like restaurants and laundries sprang up amongst these Chinese American communities. By the late 20th century, a huge influx of Chinese immigrants brought the population of Chinese ancestry to over 2 million people. 